And the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Sevilla. Oh, night. Oh, he's through here. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in, then quick turn. Well, it might still work out for them. The initial 11 for Wolves. In goal, it's Rui Patricio. Joao Moutinho plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the striker is a man who can be a real handful, Raul Jimenez. Sevilla side as follows. Getting the nod in goal is Tomas Vatsnik. Diego Carlos plays alongside Sergi Go. Will that lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. chance to revisit the goal the opening goal of the game then the young piece of defending from Joao Martinho. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And he's made headway. Surely. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, as we can see from the replay, they've got so much pace in their side, haven't they? Always look dangerous on the counter. And it was a wonderful example of that. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. A second goal for them here. Adama. And the ball with Bully. Doherty. Wonderfully weighted pass. And they could do damage. Still a chance. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, all the day's frustrations are there for all to see. The coach needs to try and turn this around and quickly. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. Might be a chance here. Textbook defending inside the box. What can he do from here? A really top-notch piece of defending. High pressing at its best. Counter-attacking very much an option. It's with Moutinho. Beautifully weighted ball. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. An incisive pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Torres. Johan Jordan could it keep it? Nothing wrong with that idea. Is it going to be? No problems grabbing hold of that one. Moutinho. 
Run it magnificently and intercepted. And very deftly cut out. Oh, a nice looking pass. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. On the ball, Reguilon. Johan Jordan. Fernando. Jimenez. Intelligent threaded pass here. He drives it in. Now well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. There will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. He's protecting it effectively. An inability to... So half-time it is in this... The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. De Jong. Here's Fernando. He's given it away. And fed forwards. Martinho. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a terrific game in a tap league. Yeah, I bet the keeper is sick of the sight of him. He's been peppering that goal from all sorts of angles, as you can see. Good goals to boot as well. Banega couldn't hang on to it. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Torres. And De Jong on the ball. Passing it around with a plumb. Giving it a try. Wonderful block. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's made headway. Big chance it is. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable. What a performance. Well, here's the replay. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Johan Jordan. Individual quality coming to the fore. Simple catch, really. Jesus Navas now. Well, it's a poor tackle. Went in strongly, decisively. Useful looking ball. And he's found a bit of daylight. And a substitution in the offing. Here's Fernando. This is Vasquez. It's Torres now. De Jong. Vasquez. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. It's Torres now. He takes aim. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Fernando. Here's Banega. Banega. Easy peasy for the goalkeeper. And they do like to press whenever they can. Good visualization and execution. Will it be? The goals keep going in for them.
I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Well, let's have another view of that goal. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Ocampos. Fernando. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He might profit from here, you know. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Vasquez. It's Torres now. Fernando. And now Vanega. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. They've lost it. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up, win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players.